Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how I decoupage these easels that I found at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to be using a napkin, I'm going to be using the iron on method, but these are su super, super easy to work with. They're actually uh, white erase boards and they turn into little easels. They're so cute. Um, I do the iron-on method. I use that for everything. If you're new to decoupage, um, there are several different ways to adhere a napkin uh, and basically getting the, the wrinkles out of it uh, uh, is what I use uh, the iron-on method for. I find it the easiest. Some use saran wrap. Some will use um, a baggie and smooth their wrinkles out. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. I just prefer the iron-on method. So I'm gonna show you how I take these and I turn them into these cute little pictures. Now these you can do for the holidays. Um, can put a Christmas napkin on it, you can, Put a Halloween napkin or uh, Thanksgiving. You can make decorations, put these on your tables. There's a lot of different things that you could do with them. I think they're so cute. They're really simple, only takes a few minutes to make. If you see these in your Dollar Tree, pick them up, keep them in your stash because you never know, you might need a last minute gift for somebody too. So anyway, the uh, supplies we're gonna be using today, of course, our little easel. I have my Mod Podge in this little container. I'm almost to the end of my bottle, so I pour it in a container. A sponge brush, uh, parchment paper. Now again, if you're new to Mod Podge, uh, the iron-on method, you're gonna wanna pick up parchment paper, and this you can get at the Dollar Tree also, not wax paper. You want parchment paper so it doesn't stick. So I put that over there. Um, sponge brush, I'm not sure, did I say that? Sponge brush, and then I have my sanding stone. I love these, again, I get these at Dollar Tree. This one is really, really beat up. I was there today and I totally forgot to go get one. These you can find in, I think, the automotive section. But definitely have that on hand. And I like to keep an emery board uh, handy also. And they have, oh, and the napkin of your choice. So remember too, you always want to take the plies off. There could be two plies, there could be three plies. It should tell you if you have a full package of napkins, it should tell you on the package if it's a two or three, but you'll know when you get to the when you get them all off because you can pretty much see through the napkin. So I picked this one. This is a Moulin Rouge napkin. Uh, this is the other side of it. I actually wanted to use this side, but it doesn't fit. It's too big for the easel. So we're gonna go ahead and use the other one. I think it's gonna turn out really cute. Now we're going to put a coat of Mod Podge on our easel and we're gonna let it dry. If you do the iron on method, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Um, and then once you iron your napkin on, that kind of reactivates the Mod Podge and you know, makes it stick. It becomes, you know, it goes back to being glue. So I'm just putting a really uh, thin, thin coat on. I'm gonna put this aside to dry. I have another one that is all ready to go. I do a lot of trivets and coasters and I always use the iron-on method, which means I have to coat my surface and let it dry. I'll do 20, 30 at a time and just lay them out on a table in the basement. I'll come back to them a week, two weeks later and they're good to go. So keep that in mind too. You don't have to use it right away. It does reactivate it, no matter how long you let it sit. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way. I'll move this down so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, and of course the iron. 
Now, I have my big iron out tonight because I've been working on a couple other things. Uh, I have a little crafting iron that I use, and that works too, but my big iron works. You want to keep it on a medium setting. You do not want to use steam at all. So... Uh, your iron is fine to use. Mine, that's the only thing I use it for these days, is just decoupage. Uh, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put this napkin on. I'm going to move it around a little bit and see how I like it. Um, I want to make sure, you know, that I, I get the pictures that I really like on here. And just, let's see, make sure that... You know, my sides look good, and I think that is pretty good. I got this lady's almost the full hat, and it's a little bit too long, but that's okay. So now, once I know that my picture is down, I like the way that looks, I'm going to lay my parchment paper right on top. I'm going to take my iron, and I am just going to iron just for... A few seconds. It really does not take long. Just want to go back and forth with it. Make sure that you get the edges real good. Okay. So let me pull this off. And now when I pick this up, my napkin is on here, okay? And you can see that it's a little bit too long. I have some extras, uh, extra napkin hanging on the sides. That's where my sanding stone comes in. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the sides. I'm gonna sand this off. This comes off really, really easy. I'll go up on the top now. I used to cut. You can use scissors if you want. Uh, I used to do that um, pretty much for most of my decoupaging. I would use scissors and cut, but I really do like the sanding stones now or an emery board okay so we've got that we're gonna go over here get this other side now you could see i've got this all there's no extra on the sides or the top i do have a little bit on the bottom though here so if i just pull this leg out i'm going to be able to get this in here And now I need to use my emery board to get really close up here. Cut that off. And this one over here. I'm just going back and forth a little bit, just kind of sawing it. Okay, so see, now you see we've got a nice clean edge. Look at how cute that is. Move this up just a little bit. Look at how pretty that turned out. I filed it away so that it fits our little easel. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put another coat of Mod Podge on top of this. I just want to make sure that my edges are sealed really well. So nothing pops up. So I'll do this. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to iron it one more time. Same way. I'm going to put my parchment paper on there. I'm going to iron it and then it is good to go. I like to go around the edges really good. And you don't need a lot of Mod Podge, you just need another thin coat. If you start to get a few little bubbles, like I have a few little bubbles up at the top, and that's usually where they're going to come, is up at the top or around the, the edges, it's okay. 
when it dries and you go back to iron it, those bubbles are going to disappear. So let me move this back up. There we go. Quick and easy and look at how pretty that turned out. Anybody that uh, likes wine, if you have um, a friend or a family member that likes wine, what a cute little gift for them. Um, this is something, like I said, if you have these on hand and you need a last minute gift, you can look through your napkins, you can make this up, it'll be ready uh, by the next morning. So that is how we work with these little easels. Um, I'm having so much fun with these. I have made quite a few of them. I just can't seem to stop right now, but uh, I think they're really cute. So if you see them at Dollar Tree, pick them up, put them in your stash. And if you wanna paint this, paint the wood to match your, your picture, maybe, you know, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe a pretty purple would look nice here or a black would look nice or even some stain. Wood stain, you can do that too. I like the natural look. I usually leave my things that way but um, some color to this would really make it pop. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're gonna give this a try. If you're new to decoupage, this is a really simple, easy, quick learning um, item to, to do, and it's really, really cute. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And if this is the end of your evening, I hope you're sitting back and you're relaxing. As always, stay safe and stay healthy. And until next time, bye-bye for now.